greetings. We're up in the little train room again. This is a little Stirling engine. You can find plans for this on my website. Very simple sort of mechanism. I'm not going to explain how they work here. But you can see how the, the big piston moves up and down in the bottom. So a lot of people know that you can run Stirling engines on heat. But how many know that ice works just as well? So we're going to grab this thing, plonk it up in the ice here, and just give it a, a few moments to get a bit of temperature differential going, and then we'll give it a spin and see what happens. Oh, nearly. Not quite though. There you go. It's just continuing to run just on ice. Notice it's getting quicker, so it's not my spin that did that. Turn around a bit so you can see the mechanism working. Sterling engines have always fascinated me a bit. Because they convert heat, or in this case, a lack of it, directly into rotational energy, which is pretty cool. If you don't want to build one of these, you can actually buy them on eBay. There's a, a number of Chinese sellers that make these things, and even though hundreds of hours go into making them, they um, cost just about nothing. So go hunting for Sterling Engine on eBay. That'll do for now. Bye.